All right, looks like we are back. Hello, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I'm Mr. Battle, and this is more Superhero League of Hoboken. And I just realized there's more place to explore just right here. So I have completely ignored a town on the start screen. you've ever seen in your career as a superhero. Even now, before detonation, the smell is overpowered and strong, and only the superhero willpower allows the party to stand this close. The bomb is clearly rigged to explode at a certain time or if touched by human or humanoid hands. But I have cheese-eating microbes. Pour the cheese-eating microbes on the bomb. As soon as liquid plays in the cheese, it melts away to nothing. A moment later, the mechanism clicks and detonates. Without the cheese, the explosion is completely benign. Villagers realizing the snail now smells enough well enough to approach converge on the wreck and strip it of parts until there's nothing left except a slick puddle of transmission fluid. Everybody gets a hundred XP and I believe that ex that smell. Smells like should smell like yep, sheep jewel, transmission and fertile loam, so that can get rid of the plorpium. Alright, let's check out the weapon shop real quick. Ah, party is soup Yeah, I'm not too hoping for good weapons, seeing as how I should have found this place ages ago. Yep. Man, I haven't given Robo Mop nothing. Alright. Um. What's better, glare inducing or padded belt? Who knows? Anyway, um. I guess I'm done for now on there. Alright. Leave. And then there's a armor shop armor shop, but pretty much the same deal. I.e. I should have found this place early on. So I don't know, maybe a pay to jock strap. There we go. Alrighty. Bulletproof monocle. That doesn't. That seems like it'd be awful, even if you got hit. Even because even if it didn't, you know, whatnot. Even if it didn't break, it would still probably wreck your eye. Because anybody who's taken a hit to the glasses that didn't break them will still tell it hurts like a mother fluffer. All right, there we go. Now this is surrounded on all sides by water. No. No. But I do believe we are ready to take out that plorpium wall. So, bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Maybe I should have done this last time. Because there's not much left in this chapter. But I don't tend to divide these things up by chapter anyway. Yes, I want to enter. That's not where I wanted to enter. I'm a doofus. Where was the... No, wait, it was Edison's warehouse, so the red one down here. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom, uh, there. Yes, red brick building of antiquity. And what not. Alright. So we got our rag. See the rag and pl plating both dissolve. We're doing exit to the north. Open it and then swings closed again. So go through. 
It's a swinging door. Edison's office. Somber office and library lined with three levels of magnificently built mahogany bookshelves and an exit leading south. And Dr. Entropy. Sudden noise from the far end of the lab. Party rushes to investigate. There, putting the final touches on a machine of evil intent is Dr. Entropy. Party rushes to stop him and bounce off an invisible force field that's surrounded him in his <laughs> Take that, you ineffectual superhero simpleton! Soon, I shall finish my masterpiece, and you will watch helplessly as I turn it on! Okay. Mess. Clean mess. You attempt to clean the mess and realize the mess is too large for the abilities of the crimson tape. Uh, but don't I have super mop? Clean almost any mess. -na 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 -na. Robot ruins the mess, release the mess you can get to beyond the edge of the force field. In the process, there's the power cord of the ray machine extending through the force field and plugged into the wall. Power cord. Unplug it. Entropy finishes puttering the machine with great drama flips it on. The same moment you pull the plug from the wall, it makes a dying hum. This round goes to you, Hoboken, but don't count me out! <laughs> I'll be back! Entropy always increases, you know! Why are you ejecting the box in a trash can? He touches something in his pocket, force field becomes opaque. Moments later, it vanishes completely, revealing the ruins of a ray machine, but no sign of Dr. Entropy. With him gone, you see exhibits, a lighting display, and a phonograph. Okay. Everybody gets 100 XP. Ooh, powerful light bulb. I'll take it. Phonograph. I'll take it. Too big and heavy. It's more like a piece of furniture. Look at. There we go. Narrow the cone, touch this phonograph less than an inch across. Wider end is two feet across, flaring at the end like a bizarre metal flower. You have a dim memory of seeing an ancient picture of a dog sitting and listening to a phonograph equipped with such a cone. Open the desk. Look inside the desk. There's nothing interesting, just pencils and paper clips and long lost notebooks of Thomas Edison. Just kidding about that last one, of course. Look at the bookshelf. Bookshelf contains mostly reference works full of minutia, meaning to see. You make a note to inform the League Archivist about the treasure trove of old knowledge that can be copied and preserved in one of the repositories of ancient learning. What about the chair with the special legs that we learned about on The Simpsons? Look at the statue. Several statues in the room, all examples of classical artistic style. Hard to guess their age to be a thousand years old or more. It's a lot less impressive to be a thousand years old when you're a thousand years in the future. Because we build stuff more permanently now. Alright, I think I've done all the chapter one missions, but I could be wrong. Only one way to find out. I mean, I guess I could check the man, check a walkthrough and see if I've solved them all, but that seems to be a bit unnecessary when I can just walk back to the base and check with Edna, or whatever the name of my computer is. Take it East Orange Village for tw Nope. No thank you. Yes. I do want to enter. Congratulations on the successful completion of missions Sapphire and Topaz. Oh, uh, okay, so it's Matilda. Oh, okay. Title screen again. This communication just in from the Office of the Commissioner of Superhero Leagues. In acknowledgement of their successful missions and valorous service, the Superhero League of Hoboken is hereby promoted to a level 2 league. All members of the League are awarded 1,000 experience <coughs> points. A grant of 500 kilo dollars accompanies this promotion. Your maximum party size is hereby increased to 5. The Crimson Tape! Advance! Robo! Okay, you do not need to hear every... Oh, only two of them? Okay. Hi! I'm Treaderman! I just heard about your League's promotion, and I'd be honored to join your ranks. I've got some things that might be useful. I'll drop them off in the storage cabinet on my way to the lunchroom. A new set of missions is available. Yes. Please go to the briefing room. Handshakes all around and Treader Man heads off to wait assignment to the party. Alright, what did you put in the cabinet, buddy? I would like actually a listing rather than just, I've got some useless stuff. 
yellow isotope. Uh, okay. I guess I should sell this stuff rather than putting it in my room. Yellow isotope, I'll grate that one in. Oh, gray tube card pass. Okay. I'll take that. Because I know where the gray tube card is. But now I can get another party member. And I seem to remember Treader Man's power is just he's good at treading water. That's about it. Yeah. Not really a combatant. But he is level 12. Whereas everybody else's level suck. Eh, might as well. Alright, I don't have enough people in my party good at treading water yet. But, you know, I'll figure it out. Climb the stairs. Mission room. A lot of words. That are not important. Look at Matilda. Like briefing computer. Turn on. There we go. Tune in, turn on. Preserve the formula for silly putty. Lying on his deathbed somewhere in Hackensack is the only living person who still knows the formula for the creation of silly putty. Mere days from death, he refuses to divulge the formula to anyone who cannot pass a certain test he has devised. You must travel to Hackensack Village and convince this man to give you the formula before this ancient and presumably truly vital knowledge is lost for all time. Hackensack is in Sector 2D at coordinates 13-6. Right. I'm not going to listen to her read out all of these, for the love of God. But I will at least look at the other missions. All right, discover why Scranton Superhero is not responding to communications. Scataway Warlord becoming more resident. He's developed a pigeon with perfect aim. And acquire some guacamole for the Cinco de Mayo party. Okay. I think I can do most of that stuff. Hell, some of that doesn't even seem like superhero stuff. All right. If I need the microbes, I'll come back for them. Alrighty. I guess I'm going to need that treading water formula so that enough of my party can swim, that the, enough of members can swim that the party can make it through water. But I don't remember exactly. Oh, new, 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 new. I think it was this store. I could be wrong. Enter. Oh. Thank you. You're just going to say the same things you say every time. Turquoise like with isotopes. There we go. You know what? I might need more power pills. I'll come back if I need them. Because so far, the hills have been limited. And not alive with the sound of music. Drink. Okay, he's at 25. Now that's up to 35, but it's still not up to. It's still not up to up to where I need to be. All right. Nope. No treading water for me. All right. That looks like it's all forest. No. Sure, why not? What's this place? Morristown. Not where I need to be. I do know where a Warlord Mansion is, come to think of it. But let me look around a little more in this area just to be... What is this place again? 500 years old... It's locked. Oh, that was the locked place. Alright. Not 
entirely sure where I am to go. But hey, probably couldn't hurt to XP up a bit if I find an area where I haven't killed all the enemies. There we go. Six of them surprised me, that's kind of harsh. Nobody likes you, go away. There we go. Too bad. You get nothing. <gasps> oh, Robomops are paranoid. Great. Paramedic. And last but not least, Treasure Man, who probably should have a better... I oh, get in! Just replacements! Well, too bad. You're not getting crap. Ow. That hurt. Alright. Red for child-bearing and child-bearing character of a 21st century radical anti-feminist fundamentalist who have extraordinary massive wide massive memories and eyes in the back of their head. Sayang, and your whole projectiles are deadly aim. They didn't feel like right in for that one. I right? hope you don't treat your own model this no. way! No, I don't, but my mom's not a mutant that's who's attacking me. Alright. <laughs> Boom. A sable isotope. Hmm. Maybe that should help for when I'm feeling emotionally unsable. That was terrible. Sorry about that. Alright. Just need to rest. Seriously, how is the mop paranoid? He's a robot. I mean, I know the suggester did it to him, but... And now I can rest for three more times rather than two more because I got an extra food slot. Because I got one more person to carry food. That's the church. Where was the Patterson Warlord again? I can't go any further up. Is this it? Is this the Patterson Warlord? Yes, yes it is. Alright. Is that where I needed to go? And it just says a guard stop. A servant appears to block your way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could take on a servant, dude. Alright. Well, I'll figure out where I'm supposed to go before too long. And in the meantime, I've got some enemies to kill, like speed of grind and stuff to do. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Whoa, that's way too dangerous. That's more like it. I don't like huge danger. If I can avoid it. I surprised two nasties. Two of them robot guys. <laughs> Joy buzzer. Oh man. Oh well. There we go. Sawed off shotgun. BB gun. Not bad. Although there's no point in the first party member having a good ranged weapon, because... Nope. Stupid hills. Do they have eyes? It's hard to tell from these antiquated limited graphics whether or not these hills have eyes. I don't want to risk... because when you use the power pills they last to your rest and then one fight... You know, Gaze upon the enemy world! world. These are the effects of the atom. Oh, yeah. For only 75 kilo dollars. He'll basically make one of you immune to radiation. Boom. I'm just going to do it down the list as I uncover these radiation curing areas. Poison Ivy, damn it. He's going to be too busy scratching the fight. But it's only too nasty, so I'm good. Uh oh, it's two of these daisies. That's a lot of hit points on these guys. He has no arteries to speak of. Bring it on, we. There we go. Mademoiselle Pepperoni! Good. Tropical oil! Good. And a cyan isotope. Alrighty. 
Everybody's dropping isotopes now. Almost palatial structure. Sure, why not? Is this the Warlord's home? Piscataway Warlord. Ah, you must be the superheroes that His Excellency sent for. You are to enter this sanctum at once. Shouldn't you at least say who's saying that to me? But all right. Go through the door. Hello. Plush room. Part office, part boudoir. The only exits to the south. Bus sitting on a shelf. Inscription on the bus it says it's a carving of Pat Buchanan. You see a warlord, paperweight, and a toupee. Ah, oh, the superheroes I sent for. I have a few chores. Cat stuck in a tree, waxy yellow build-up, stuff like that. Just wait there. After I review the militia, I'll return to give you your instructions. All right. Drink. That'll put him over 50, I think. The Warlord continues primping. Put animals to sleep at 75. Okay, much more effective. All right, to pay. I'll be held to pay if I can't stop this guy. Hefty hair feet, very much slight resemblance to a sleeping ocelot. A metal lining, so that no would-be thief could get it past metal detectors. Magnet on the toupee, keeps you a safe distance from his prize. All right, so I gotta figure out something. Take the bus. I can take a bus to Pat Buchanan. So it's not a total loss. How you doing, buddy? Warlord, sitting his appearance, didn't hear you, or perhaps he heard you, but didn't think you were worth responding to. Both theories are defensible. There! That should do it! What a handsome devil! And now for the crowning touch! Pun intended. Placing his toupee carefully onto his pate, completely hiding his expansive bald spot, he begins making final adjustments to his uniform. He Oops! <laughs> Almost forgot my lucky paperweight! He snatches and strides out the door. As he passes under the shelf, his toupee pops upward and sticks the other side of the shelf, but he didn't notice. A minute passes. You hear a burst of martial music, followed by raucous laughter and an agonized shriek. He rushes in the room, looks around, spots his toupee, grabs it, and curls up on the floor, clutching a toupee like a bullet baby with his security blanket. A minute passes. Your... Okay, sorry. Servant enters, leads you away. You see a paperweight here. I'll take it. Boom. Mission solved. Heck yeah. Climb the stairs. The Sanctum is that way. I don't care. I've already been kicked out of the Sanctum. You sanctimonious tool. But yeah, that's one warlord down and a number of other problems including guacamole to go- Oh crap, this is not good. Six of them. Blah. The hell is that guy? You some kind of evangelist? Esp evangelist. Runs away. Trying to trains and crap from a distance. Okay. I'm gonna figure out what I know, what I don't know, so it might be even more dangerous. I right. hope you don't treat your own. Oh, model this. Yeah, yeah. No one cares. Stick a fork in me. Alrighty then. And it goes down. I should probably actually rest now that I think about it. Where's that warlord house? There we go. Sure, I'm gonna step inside. I'm sure he's too busy crying, curled up on the floor, to actually care about us being in here, so we'll just rest in his foyer for eight hours. Boom, everybody's at full strength. Metal lion toupee. That's just dumb. I mean, that was the most hair-raising solution possible, but still. Yeah, I went there. Piscataway, bizarre black booth, blah blah blah. Oh, gold tent. I like the gold tents. Oh. Uh. Pawnbrokers will have random stuff that's usually mission related. Blood colored isotope, dark gray isotope, wire cutters. Oh my God, this is all. I, I 
Okay, yeah, the vegetable I will definitely need. Isotope. Isotope. Wire cutters. And I don't know if the transmitter is needed or not, but I do know that um, I'm running low on funds. So we'll come back to it if, I, if and when I need it. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. All right. You're the armor guy, right? Oh! Up. Yep. So you can buy all the useless armor I don't need anymore, like the asbestos yarmulke and the ace bandage and the rubber knee, cat, knee pads. Yeah, everybody's carrying armor that you can no longer equip because it's use. Not everybody. Apparently, I gave it all to the first guy. Good for me. All right. Rocket shoes. Is that really all you had? All right, fine. Do you need lead line boots? Yes, you do. All right. So I didn't. I only bought one thing. So I mostly just rearranged party gear. This town was didn't have anything much in it. But hey, I got some wire cutters and some isotopes and. And there is no am. That's all I got. Ancient house of worship. Partially restored. Hello. Hi there. Where are the people? Sorry, the but there are no more services today. And he vanishes into the woodwork. So he's some kind of creepy woodworm. Look at the window. Windows made of intricate stained glass. Symbols. Meanings hard to discern. All right. It is forbidden to set foot in the sanctuary, except during a worship service, and there are no services today. So is this a temple? A synagogue? Alright. Turns out, no, it's just another normal church, it's just he's a Jewish priest. I don't think there's a law against it. Alright. Five nasties. I'm gonna take these guys down right toot sweet quick fast. You scratched my heart like a zini! Yeah, I did. What you gonna do about it, buddy? This really isn't the way to get me that. I don't care. There we go, bureaucrat goes down. Last one. Oop, he's scratching an itch. Oh well. You gonna do that for attack? No, you're not. You're just doing your basic crap. Alright, does that ever wear off? Or do I have to pay to get it cured? I guess I'll find out sooner or later. Okay, I gotta figure out how I can enter the woods. Because until I can enter the woods, I'm gonna be limited in what I can do. Really? Although monsters have a variety of shapes and sizes, they all feature an airtight department where they store their kills until they're ready to digest them. Travel in large fighting packs known as Tupper War Parties. Uh, War Parties. Ugh. Members of a strange cult were protected in the 70s. There is another log of me, me. Are you sure that's not 80s? Anyway, not considered to be dangerous to any party equipped with sufficiently powerful earmuffs. Very mobile and as large as a tree, mutant weeds don't need a breeze. They launch their seed pods at will. Once launched, they don't drift helplessly in air currents, but become a, power, a powered squadron of kamikaze dive bombers. Alright. <laughs> Tupper goes down. Tupper. Nope, miss. Bummer. <laughs> Say goodbye to your first girl. Your healthy cholesterol levels. And I'm gonna shoot. I don't care. Why are you screaming at me? I'm the one hitting you. She's not wearing a cap. Oh damn, that's harsh. I'm gonna save my. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna use my head against the dandelion. There we go. No, I was definitely moved over to the other side. Why the hell are you missing so much? Why Yes, you've been hit. Fortunately, I hammered the buttons. Oh, Trigger Man! And Alrighty. Rubber shoulder pads. I don't need that. That's like here, way behind where I need. Oh well. I wouldn't head south if I were you. Not unless you enjoy being toast. Steroid men! Alright, so there's steroid men to the south. Oh man, there was no worry. I, I figured if I didn't go directly south, I wouldn't get caught up in this crap. Wow, this is not gonna go south, is it? Nope. 39 damage on steroid, man. Ow, ow. 
damn, damn, damn. I don't think I'm gonna make like those other superheroes and get the hell out of here. <coughs> yes, we're gonna squat in your living room again. Not really much you can do about it. <coughs> Drink the gray isotope. Okay, um... Well, hers is already at 74, so if I think that might be Alright, animals to sleep. Nobody's got this power, whatever it is. Induce rust, so use that on robot, uh, robot enemies. Okay. Okay, I see what we're doing. I dig you, bitch. Alright, I got my head handed to me seriously by those steroid freaks. And if I walk through this, I'm gonna get, end up... Yep. Yep. But there's very often loot in the, st in the radiation areas, so... What are you gonna do, huh? Alright. I think that's all I can do for right now. Oh, no, 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 no. I hit the wrong button. Alright. Sure, why not? I'm gonna have to rest soon anyway. That's the woods. How do I get equipped into the woods? I don't remember. Soot encrypted factory. Sure, why not? Guacamole factory. Doors in the north, blah, blah, blah. Factory shut down. The reason obvious. All the workers are marching back and forth carrying signs. Lighting comes from a frosted panel. What's up, guys? Got any guacamole lighting no, you need? The factory's been shut down all day as a protest over these miserable working conditions. Yeah, we're people, not animals. Okay. Some of you look familiar. Yeah, well, you probably saw us in Companions of Xanth. We used to work in that game until it went non-union, and then we had to walk out, of course. As much as I love the Xanth games, I never actually finished that one. We negotiated in good faith. And management treats us like dirt. Worse than dirt. Swine received better treatment. Cockroaches would never put up with this. Could you get me a bit more specific? Sure. Our contract clearly states that our working environment must be lit by 100 watt fixtures. But our expert consultant has pointed out that the lighting in this facility falls a good 2% short of that. Yeah, at this rate, we'll all be blind by the age of 90. Bastard. Thank you. All right, you guys are idiots. Take the 98 watt bulb. There you go, now you get to work in the dark. I didn't actually mean to use the paperweight on the bulb. Screw the bulb in the socket. Workers cheer, toss away their signs, take their stations. A moment later, a large object of guacamole comes off the end of the assembly line. Two minutes later, somebody yells, it's 69.7 degrees, shrivels all the blows, and the factory grinds to a halt, and they retrieve their signs and resume marching. One untouched avocado. It's 69.7 degrees. Our contract stipulates that the factory temperature be maintained between 70 and 71.5 degrees. These guys are a-holes. Take the avocado. No, do not eat the avocado. That's the only one you're going to get. Take the guacamole. All right. I'm getting out of here. These idiots are stupid. As most idiots tend to be. All right. Have I been here? Yes, I have. I do not need to be here, though. But I got the avocado and the guacamole. So I'm pretty much set for life. I don't need to do this superhero crap anymore. No. Alright, um... Just gotta explore all the areas I couldn't explore before. Stupid radiation. Oh, bull crap. How did he stumble into poison ivy when he was... already... when I was stepping out of the... Alright. I was stepping out of the poisonous area. Swamp area, whatever. Alright. No, I don't want to enter. Right. I want to clear away all the mountainous areas I can before I rest. Then I'm probably going to have to use a whole bunch of money on uh, on getting cleaned up from the various various debuffs I've got on me at the moment. The biggest part of clearing the whole map is clearing the whole map. It's a pain in the butt. You know what? Everybody's gonna get irradiated. Nothing I can do about it. And that was completely pointless. Alright, we're at full health. I'm gonna go ahead and save. And see if that fight goes any better.